Part one, installing Jenkins. So once we fired up our RDP session for our Windows server, we need to open Internet Explorer and we can go straight to the Jenkins download page where we'll need to type in the URL jenkins-ci.org and from here we can download the native Windows package which will be a zip file. So if we open the download folder, drill into the zip file, drag that to the desktop, then we're ready to start on the install of Jenkins. Double click the MSI file and away we go. So at this point we've got an open source application called Jenkins. I'm ready for a big battle here. It's probably going to take me ages to get this installed. It's going to be fraught. But I'm going to come through in the end and get this all completed. Only with Jenkins it's not quite like that. It's kind of like this big puppy dog and just seems to roll over onto his back and rather than giving you a big fight it just wants to play so straight after that opens a tab on localhost at port 8080 and after just a little bit of preparation we're ready to go so easy it's almost disappointing <laughs> 